2018 Mercedes-AMG GTR Pros. It's not just about the numbers, though they're still very impressive. The R uses an upgraded version of the Biturbo 4.0 liter V8 from the rest of the AMG GT range. With 577 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, that's only 27 horsepower and 14 pounds-feet more than the next most powerful AMG GTC. Though the R is also 154 pounds lighter, Never mind, the fury of this car rings through your ears as the V8 wails with a muscular vibrato, a roar that is primal in tone and carnal in intent. It is the sort of car that, moments after firing up the engine, a tingle rushes down your spine and a soft, assertive voice whispers in your head, damn. Power with poise. The big story about this car is how precisely it puts that 577 horsepower and 516 pound-feet to the road, how the tires and suspension and steering and brakes all work together to deliver one of the most visceral sports car experiences I've ever known. You can feel everything this car is doing through the steering wheel, through the seat of your pants. It's always flat always poised. Consider this the AMG GTR is way less powerful than both the Chevy Camaro 1 Zelotti 1 LE and Porsche 911 Turbo S, but it still ran around Virginia International Raceway quicker than both a car and driver's lightning lap test this year. So much attitude, the way this Mercedes snorts and slides and growls. It's more like a big mean muscle car than a tactile supercar. All bulgy and carbon, fibery and menacing, this really just looks like an AMG GT on steroids. What a monster! It's still a Mercedes, for as ferocious and track-focused as the AMG GTR is. It still embodies all of the luxurious traits you expect from a car with a three-pointed star. On the hood, every surface inside the car is impeccable in its design and its fit and finish. The carbon fiber bits are real. The leathers are supreme. The Alcantara is soft and supple. Right down to the autographed placard on the engine cover. You can tell that a lot of love and dedication went into making this car feel as special as it drives. 2018 Mercedes AMG GTR Cons the regular GT is very, very good. If you plan on taking your AMG GT to the track, get the R. If you just want an incredible sports car for canyon carving and boulevard cruising, you're better off with a GTS or a GTC. Don't get me wrong, I think the big wing and the carbon fiber exterior bits look pretty rad. But the other AMG GT models are so, so, so sexy. More comfortable for not so pristine, not in California roads, too. You don't need to buy the R to make a hell of a statement. Why isn't this fully loaded? This car starts at $157,000. Yet when I glance at the window sticker, I see this test car has an extra $30,000 in optional equipment. On the range topping version of Mercedes' most impressive car, why aren't things like power folding mirrors, a dimming rearview mirror, or the company's Distronic Plus Adaptive Cruise Control Standard? Even carbon ceramic brakes are an option on this hardcore AMG GT and a $8,950 option, at that. 